Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of that celebrity interview. Dr. Alyssa Dweck, welcome to the Valder Beebe Show for the first time. How are you today? I'm well. Thank you for having me. Well, thank you for being my guest as I broadcast across the nation and on an FM platform. Dr. Dweck, you are an OBGYN, and I heard you were one of New York's best. True? <laughs> Not true. I like to think so. Thank you. I know. I heard good things about you. Help my audience today as we talk about some intimacy problems. You bet. So, you know, intimacy can be complicated for women, and I think it's really important to distinguish between the occasional drop in desire because you've had a spat with your partner or because you're stressed out at work, and something that's really very real as a medical condition called HSDD, hypoactive sexual desire disorder. And this is something that approximately one in 10 premenopausal women suffer from. This involves low desire for no other apparent reason, and distress as a result of it. This affects women's self-esteem, their body image, their intimate relationships. It's really important that we get the word out there that this is a real entity. Okay. The women that it's affecting, is it, uh, you said premenopausal, is there an age group there? Because my audience is made up of uh, 89.9% baby boomer women. Sure. And they are, uh, uh, are they caught up in this? Is this their group? You bet they are. So premenopause counts for everything and all ages up until you've been 12 consecutive months without menstruation. And although the average age of that is 51 in this country, it can be as high as 58. So it's a pretty good size group of women. Do we know this is happening, or are we considering this, uh, the women in this group, or are they saying, oh, this is normal, this is just part of aging? What, what's going on here? Well, look, there are plenty of women who do consider that, and they are perhaps embarrassed or uneasy or shy to bring up their concerns to their health care providers. But I think it's really important that we let a lot of women know that they're not alone. If they feel there's a problem with their intimacy, they need to start the conversation. By the same token, healthcare providers need to bring this up with their patients in a direct manner so that we open up the conversation and elucidate whether there's really a problem there. So how do we get women to talk about this? very personal problem, especially well, with our doctors. Yes, uh, it's a great question, but, you know, gynecologists specifically are in a very unique position to have this conversation with their parents, uh, with their patients, I'm sorry. Most of us have been seeing these patients year after year. We're involved in other intimate areas of their lives, including childbirth and illnesses and whatnot, so it's natural for us to bring this up, and it behooves us to do so. I want to remind you guys that Dr. Alyssa Dweck is a practicing gynecologist, and I wasn't kidding when I heard that she was one of the best in New York. So you're getting great advice. Okay, Dr. Dweck, it's estimated one of 10 women have this condition. Uh, That's a lot if you ask me because there's 74 million baby boomers. I don't know what the women ratio is, but that's still a lot of women. It's quite a few women, and this is specifically the premenopausal population that we're speaking of, So, but it is quite a a large number. Okay, so this condition, uh, does it have any symptoms or does it come on suddenly? Uh, And you can tell I don't know a lot about it, but tell us, give us some insight. Sure. So HSTD is specifically characterized by an onset of low desire that was never present before. It also has to include distress about this. So some women could take it or leave it, but these women are women who are really concerned. It's affecting their relationships, and so it's something that needs to be addressed. It also is very important to distinguish this from other causes of desire problems, like coexisting medical conditions or medications they may be taking for those medical conditions, or a relationship problem. Surely, if you you are having a problem with your spouse and your desire is low, that's not HSDD. That's another issue. <laughs> that's true. Uh, that's almost a court issue. Okay, <laughs> let me ask you this. So, okay, so we've defined the problem. Are there any treatments or any answers? 
You bet there are, and I'm so excited to be here on behalf of AMAG Pharmaceuticals to discuss the first and only as-needed FDA-approved treatment for HSDD called Vilesi, bremelanotide injection. This works in the brain on the melanocortin receptors as an agonist. It is indicated for acquired, generalized, hypoactive sexual desire disorder. As with all medications, there may be side effects. Side effects that are most common include nausea, flushing, injection site reactions, headache, vomiting, and Vilesi is contraindicated in women with uncontrolled hypertension or known cardiovascular disease. The amazing and novel thing that I'd like to bring up is that Vilesi is used as needed. So it's used in anticipation of intimacy rather than having to take a medication every single day. So I really encourage women to speak with their healthcare providers to see if they may be candidates for such a medication. Okay. So this is something, obviously, do we bring up to our gynecologist? Absolutely. I think it's important that women educate themselves, empower themselves, uh, feel no embarrassment about having this conversation because they're not alone, and uh, see if they are candidates for a medication uh, such as Vilesi. There is a website, vilesi.com, that is full of information, but it also has a screening questionnaire to see if you might fit characteristics for HSDD. And I find that that's particularly helpful and very easy to employ, and women can um, peruse that before before they visit their healthcare provider, so they're armed with information and better able to have that conversation. Dr. Dweck, you've been one of my most informative interviews of the morning. I want to thank you so very much for bringing this to the forefront. I talk to baby boomers every day. You can't imagine the matrix of subjects we cover, but I think this is one of the most important. I agree. I thank you. You're I very welcome. You thank you. Guest. Hi, I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder Beebe Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, host of the Valder Beebe Show. I have used Credit Help USA the credit restoration company that's bonded and state certified. When you become a client of Credit Help USA, you become eligible for a set of stainless steel cookware from Credit Help USA and the Bounder BB Show. Get your credit straight today. Visit credithelptx.com, click on the Bounder BB Show icon, and get started living life divinely. <music> 